What's up, monkeys? Here's how to escape the map. And while we head over to canyons, I would like to say that I only have a week left on band. To my knowledge, I am the first person to figure this out. I figured it out on the 25th of November. So you want to come up onto this bridge right as you come into canyons? Somewhere, anywhere on this zip line. You could probably do it over there. Not sure. But you want to grab it with your right controller or hold your controller or grab it with your left hand and hold the controller because um, what we're doing right now involves old tech and new tech. So the old tech being when you smack your tracking ring, yeah, you fly up like this. And the new tech being that if you use your analog stick to spin on your right controller, you can actually spin in air. Let me show you this in action. As you can see, I'm using my analog stick to spin in the air. Whoa, why am I floating? That's weird. So yeah, you need to have your right controller in your hand at all times so you can actually spin, or you can disconnect your right controller and it should move it over to your left analog stick. Now on to actually how to do glitch. So, as most of you may know, if you smack your tracking ring while holding onto a zip line or rope, you will actually fly up. And you wanna do this repeatedly until you ascend. Showed this off in a different video with a broom. Oh, there we go, I'm going fast. So now I wanna use my analog stick. Oh, never mind. I waited to, oh my, what on earth? What just happened? What, what? <laughs> what just happened? I'm so confused. So again, smack a tracking ring until you float up. There we go, okay, you're going up. Use the joystick to spin. And now you're, is not what we're looking for. Okay, we're landing up here. You can land here, or sometimes if you're going high enough, you can hit the cloud tree, the bottom of it. You can land on stump, you can land there. If you do end up landing here, you don't have to restart. If you want to, you can, and try and land there. Right there on that stump. But if you don't wanna restart, you can jump, and try and jump over it like that. Your head will get stuck in this. You want to push down on that and try and get your left or right, your left hand, it's easier with right hand, in here. And you want to kind of just waddle along the side. You don't want to go in between this wall. You want to go, you don't want to do this. You're going to go this way. And now you're going to elevator climb to the top of this, pull yourself up, and now you're up here. Either you will only have canyons loaded or you'll have both forced and canyons loaded. So now what you're going to want to do to unload forest, you wanna drop down right here. Now we are, you wanna drop down where there's no ground, cause if not, you'll land in forest. And then you wanna go where it's kinda of dark. You wanna go under the map, cause you don't wanna get inside the map. So where this ramp is right here, you wanna come kinda of around here somewhere. Drop down under here, go here, come around. No, you're just kinda of climbing around. You wanna hold your hand up until it hits the grass. Put your other hand up, pull yourself in. Then you wanna jump up here with only your hand. You don't want to land with your entire body up there or you might have to restart. Now, reach over, put your right hand in caves and try and jump up and get your hand up here. Now with stuff here, either caves will load on its own or you'll have to pull yourself in closer. You don't wanna pull yourself inside of it because then you will have to do this again. So now you wanna walk up here like this and then jump up and you can pull yourself through the floor and you now have caves loaded and you can walk through the stuff in forests. As you can see, I just fell through where the ramp would be. Canyons is loaded or unloaded. The canyons tunnel is unloaded and that's how you unload forest. Remember, smack your controller till you fly over the wall, then turn and then, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, as you can see, I've just landed here I landed right here and forest loaded, or well, canyon's loaded. I walked a little close, forest loaded. Don't get too close, this forest will load. I already showed you that if you go down, you will end up in caves down there. But if you go down again, walk over here, put your arm on the map, left arm preferably. Now that you're over here after walking along, jump up here. Now you're up here from down there. And then you wanna walk along this wall. I don't know why that platform's down there. It's goofy. Oh. Oof. Okay. Go down here. You wanna tilt your head so that it doesn't get stuck inside this. So you can get around it like I just did. 
walk along the rock. And then you can come right here. And I think it's been a while. I think no, that's not what I wanted. That is it's not at all what I wanted. Okay, we're back at the bottom stairs. Don't do what I did and try and pull your hand out there. Um, you wanna actually try and pull it out here, I think. Wait, no. What am I doing? Why am I not just taking the battery out of my controller? Okay, so after you've come in the map right there and pulled your hand out, you can swim this way, and it should load in beach. And then once you get toward the edge of the platform, attempting to swim up will actually bring you into the beach water, which is so goofy. It comes all the way up here to where the sea level is, and you can swim out here, <laughs> and swim this way and come under here. It's, it's really cool. You come over here, jump over here, and control your friends sticking your hand through the map. But, you can swim this way. And this is where the old, the original, getting out of the map glitch and beach came from. You can actually wall climb up here. Trigger the wind barrier. Oh wait. Which pin my, oh wait, crap. Um. Uh, guys, is that Fetty Fazbear? Har, 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 har. Yeah, so that was Beach Map and what you can do out there. There's a lot of invisible water, so just swim around in it and test it. Land right here. And then you're going to experience a major lag spike. Just be careful um, when loading in City on Standalone. You want to walk along the edge so you don't load for us. And then jump to the stairs over here. You want to dead walk like this until you get to the opposite side of the stairs. Now come over here. Jump up. And then try and get your hand on this white thing right here. Now, either try to hold yourself against this and yank your right hand out. Or whatever hand you put in the map. There we go. Got my hand out. You want to try and get all the way up this wall by what? <laughs> Whoa. By whatever means. I. Uh, that's not going to work. And I'm out of the map. Bye bye. I'm a tiger. Uh. Quick reminder while I try and get this glitch to work. Do not use this in public lobbies. You can and probably will be reported. Especially if you get on the map and in, say infection or something like that. If you do any of that and escape the map, you will easily get banned for cheating. So I highly disagree with using this in public lobbies. Just don't do it. It ruins other people's experience, especially if you don't show them how to do it. And then it could also harm how the game works. And then I don't think this works on like Valve and Pico and the Quest 3. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on the Quest 3. I'm using Quest 2 and only have ever used the Quest 2 and the Quest 1. Don't know if it works on there. But yeah. I know that only the Quest 2 works because of the way the tracking rings are set up. I don't know if it works on any other headset. Comment down below what headset you play on and if this works. And if you don't know how to do what I'm doing, just look up how to fly in Gorilla Tag or something like that. How to fly with zip lines in Gorilla Tag and it'll probably show up. It's a pretty popular glitch from like a month or like two, three months ago. Um, and it, it still works in the fall 2023 update. Not sure if it'll work in the Christmas update. Who knows? We're going down the caves. Do the little, make sure not to jump in the map because that's no good. Come down here. Do a little bit of dancey dancey do. What? Jump up here. Oh Lord, that was close. And then go, nope, that, no, 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 there we go, load in caves, and then jump, no, that's not what I wanted to do, jump up, no, that's still not what I, that is still not, jump up here, cool, and now go down stump, like so, Ugh, jump down here, like an epic gamer, over here, Ugh, make this sort of challenging jump, Climb on this big rock, to utter big rock, to utter, utter big rock, utter. <gasps> Drop down on this big rock, as can see. Come over here, found a better way to do this. So you jump across those two rocks right there, and then come over here, and then drop down right here, and drop down with the water. And as you can see, I am now swimming around outside of caves. What? Like... What it is, what it is. And it goes to its 
stop Scry a little bit farther after the demo. Oh no, it still keeps going. Huh. <laughs> what? What's really cool is this one goes really far down. You can come all the way down here. There's actually, there's water lighting, but no water physics. As you can see, I can't swim or anything. Uh, water lighting, water physics. I mean, no water physics, but with water lighting. Uh, you come up to right here, so you can get back up to the swimmy part. And you can actually swim out to this one, and to this one. And I think the water ends over here somewhere. Yeah. Tried to jump over there earlier, it did not work well. Okay. Oh my, why? Why? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you. There's so much more you can get outside, you can do outside the map that I wasn't able to showcase because I'm bad at the game. Um, if you want me to make a part two, showcasing different things you can do outside of the map instead of how to actually do the glitch and simple things with it, uh, please comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.